Hey guys, Ellie with Tip B. Uh, today we're gonna look at how to create ringtones for free within uh, Mac OS X. Uh, you can use GarageBand for this, so if you have a Mac, obviously this is not for PC users. Uh, there are several ways to do it on a PC, but today we're just gonna look at Mac. Um, you can use GarageBand, which is part of iLife. Uh, your Mac should have come pre-installed with some version of iLife, which has GarageBand. So I am going to open GarageBand. And you can use any track you have in iTunes. As a note, as of iLife 11, uh, you can't import an M4A to my knowledge. It always, it doesn't let me drag it. It did in older versions. So this first step that I'm gonna do with changing the file extension, if you're on a version older than iLife 11, you can skip this, you don't have to do it. So I'm gonna open up iTunes and find the song that I wanna make into a ringtone. So I think I kinda wanna use this song. So I'm going to drag this to my desktop. It will not remove it from your iTunes. It makes a copy. I think that's how iTunes is set up by default. Now what I'm gonna do, see how this is an M4A. I purchased this song from iTunes, but for some reason, I don't know why they have the ringtone feature still in GarageBand, but they don't wanna let you use these. Not sure. Either way, there's a way around it. Um, simply name this .mp3. Then it's gonna prompt you. Uh, you do wanna use .mp3 and now you'll be able to drag it into GarageBand. So when you open GarageBand, um, you can just go to new project at the top, however you wanna do it. Um, just go to file new, that's what I do. Um, and just, I'm gonna name it TIPB ringtone. So it doesn't matter, none of this stuff matters. You can leave it as it is and click create. Uh, when GarageBand populates, you're gonna see all this gibberish you don't need. So you can close out this. I think the piano opens by default. Um, you can actually delete the whole track by going to track, delete track. Um, now what I'm going to do is I am going to drag in this file that I just created. Okay, so there's my song. Now drag it to the beginning. Uh, what I want to do to finer tune this is this little, uh, this little looks like scissors. Um, it's the track editor. I'm gonna expand that. This little slider down here lets you fine tune even more. See how the seconds are spacing out more? It makes it a lot easier to edit this. And you're gonna need to expand this to be able to cut away parts if you want. Um, the easiest way to create a ringtone, uh, turn off this little metronome too, it's gonna click at you, it's annoying. You can also decide, um, if you're looking at time down here, you can sort, you can have it adjust by measures, time. I use time. Um, so then when you play the track, it shows you the seconds and whatnot. Um, this little Apple loop down here, I think they call it cycle regions now. They were Apple loops. Um, you can go ahead and um, click that, and you're going to notice this little yellow bar up here. iTunes will not allow you to create a ringtone that's over 30 seconds long. So you can go anywhere within 30 seconds. If it's a certain part of a song that you want, you can just drag this um, wherever that part is. Uh, so you can play the song, see where it's at, um, and you can see that the Apple loop jumped to where this started. And what'll happen is when it gets to the end, what's it, what it's gonna do is you'll see it's gonna jump right back to the beginning of that loop. So basically a ringtone is gonna do just what it says it's gonna loop. So you have that option, uh, you can create anything from a one second all the way down to a 30 second ringtone. Um, now there's another way you could do this if you want to be even fancier is um, you can actually create uh, like splice stuff and uh, piece stuff together. I've done that with a couple of them to where I wanted maybe more than one part of a song um, and I found an area that would splice that you couldn't really tell it was spliced and it sounded good together. The way you can do that is say I don't want this beginning part um, I'm going to delete that. Now all I'm doing is highlighting that and then clicking the delete button on my keyboard. It removes it. I'm going to drag this back to the beginning. Um, let's get rid of this Apple loop for just a second. And then um, say I want like I'm playing through this and I want like the first five seconds and I find another area down here in the song that I do want but I don't want this middle section. I can delete that drag these together, overlap them, however I want to do it. Um, and you can mess with that, it's really kind of up to you. Um, and then just add that Apple loop back. 
and make it correspond with the part that I want. You can also do something cool um, called, you can, you can basically make the track fade in and fade out. So if you want to make it fade in at the beginning, you can do that or fade out at the end. The way you do that is go up here to track and click fade out. So to fade it out at the end, the ringtone's going to end where this yellow bar ends. I can add a starting point for the fade out and an ending point. You can add points in between wherever you want. Um, drag this down and it will fade out starting here and get softer until it finally fades to nothing. You can also do a fade in. You just do the opposite. Put a point at the beginning and have it, it's kind of hard to put them at the beginning because it wants to create this point here and it's hard to drag that one down but um, you can grab it and just kind of it'll fade in then. Um, so that's how you create a ringtone um, in GarageBand and then one final step easy go up here to share and it's built in share ringtone to iTunes click that it'll create it and it's gonna put it right in your ringtones tab there it is so all you have to do from this point is you can rename it do whatever you want um, and then plug your phone in and it should show up sync your ringtones and that's how it's gonna show up on your iPhone so uh, if you guys use this, let us know how it goes for you. Or if you have any other ways that you share ringtones or create them, uh, let us know. Thanks, guys.